First match of the Back for Brawl 92. Top 8 winner side is going to be Festival versus Yoho Spill, the Axel and the Testament. I am joined once again by the one and only Patriot Panda. Yeah, what's up, what's up? And uh, interesting matchup we're getting right away from the Back for Brawl 92, right? Two zoners. Two zoners. Not often you get to see these two archetypes fight each other in Gelly Gear. What's funny, Ooh. I think you'll find in uh, zoning matchups, they often get more aggressive than regular because both characters tend to have toned down reward. And so they're more willing oh, yeah. to take risks on offense. And right now we see that Testament going to dive right in, finds the counter hit, and Festival going to give up that burst. I, you're absolutely right. It's like they both get pushed back, and it's like, wait, these are these are good moments for both of them, in it? Oh, that was interesting well there. Cancelled in the 5H. Axel able to block it all. 2P staggers into the 2K, but the uh, Grave Reaper able to close it out. All right, good way to chip on it. Yo, play a bit patiently. Try to look for an opportunity to counter poke, but there's a bit of a trade there. Wow. Catches him on the whistling wins. Yeah, I really like oh. that. I, I guess in this matchup, you can just react with, uh, what's that move called? The high-low thing. Uh, Arbiter sign. I Arbiter believe. sign, there you go. You can react with Arbiter sign to uh, obviously just avoid the tornado and prevent no. Axel from getting any kind of free neutral presence. It's kind of like, this is your reaction option if he tries to pop it in neutral. On me's though, Huge I don't know. Jump I don't know. In. Speaking oh. of reaction, does it again. This time for the plus frames, Axel trapped in the corner. Gets him with a wild assault, cancels into the 5D. Wall break, not going to be enough to kill, but it's a pixel in a dream here. Yeah, oh, wait, 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 wait. For the round start, is this the though, dream? That's the play. Yeah, this is, is this the, the dream. dream. I think it's death. This is the dream. Super. My God. Guilty Gear Strive really can go anyway at any point in time. <laughs> Like, it was a very dominating round there for a Yoho, but all of a sudden you get clipped by a BRC Turkey, and uh, Axel's good to go. We'll push you to the wall. Yep, and uh, right there, you saw the festival didn't even do anything like to overextend or anything. They just kept it simple, and Yoho Spill got uh, a little eager to get out, and unfortunately, definitely cost him that round. Well, I, you know, it tends to nature. You know, play a little bit of patience sometimes. Don't have to go full aggression. Ooh, well blocked. It's going to be so Keeps difficult to get going. out of this. Axel does have great normals to challenge out, and that's exactly what they're going to do with the oh. 2P. Picks up with a 6H, resets the plus frames, has the burst, but what can you really do with you here? I think your number one goal here is, as Yoho Spill is just to not get gold bursted. Oh. And, yeah, works out perfectly, gave up the space. Festival tried to take it, but walked right into the zoning. Yoho Spill will take game one. Up and straight into match two, and Yoho went for a bit of a 6P for the uh, round star RPS. Not a bad show, but uh, Festival's round star being patient. Love them get the upper hand so far. Oh, nice catch for the Arbiter sign. Goes for it again, slowly pushing Festival into the corner here. And this is their offense getting started. Big throw, and there's trap. Yeah, and this right here is where Testament really shines. It's so difficult to find your way out of this situation. Fast cancel from the mix into so much damage. This character does not deserve this, okay? Yeah, like, I, I remember <laughs> when uh, Testaments were they really doing a lot of damage or like they weren't doing the all good the old crazy days. combos. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Oh. That was in an IB on an aerial special and then punished with the Arbiter sign on the landing. That was awesome. Hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> oh my lord. Nice. That's a decent wee bombo there. Festival keeping it honest in the corner, but getting get caught by the Arbor side. And it does seem like the projectiles are stopping Festival from throwing out these bigger pokes like 2H and 5P. Ooh. Nice. Catches away Arbor side. No combo though, but the hard knockdown. Don't it set up for the cross up! I thought they mistimed the meaty, but it was a setup nah. to put the teleport behind at that. <laughs> <laughs> Just clean, neutral bro. setups, yeah. Yoho Spill will take game two as well. On to game three, Yoho Spill with all the momentum. And right now, I have the real difference between that is uh, obviously Testament just gets so much more whenever they're able to corner their opponent. That's exactly what's going to happen here. But oh. Axel ready for the air throw. Awesome maneuver there. Plus frames into the close slash frame trap. Uses the RC to take to the wall. Yoho Spill not going to commit that burst. Uh, definitely going to be fighting from behind for the rest of this round. Uh, the RC was definitely smart to see if there was any form of burst there, but the 2P staggers into the follow-up. Can get Festival that round. And you know, you need to start setting the pace here on out. You cannot let Yoho get started. They're already 2-0 up. It's, it's going to be a bit difficult. It's going to be a bit difficult. That's some decent pokage. But the 5P gets him with the close slash. Trapped in the corner. Oh, out space. Goes to the super jump. Able to block in time. A cop of the 2D. Jumps in with a safe jump. Oh. Empty into the throw. 
Sets it up again. This time, chase the back dash. Going to be a trade. Gets the hit again into the super. Probably not going to be enough to kill, but once again, it's so difficult. Oh, it's actually going to be a draw. Burst comes out. Nice. Good jump. Goes for the JS. Tries to space it right. Keeping them in this perfect spacing where they don't have to commit, oh. but going to get caught on their RC. That what is so going unfortunate. For they went for 6P. Their 6P got beat. I think the Testament move just hit low enough that it avoided the invuln. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks. Yeah, really, also, really sounded like you're doing there. your your Beatles impression at Invul. <laughs> Invul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. God, what JP to deny that airspace. And remember, this is set point for Yoho. This is set point. So Festival really need to get out of this situation and start their own pressure. Otherwise, they're going to have to hold it. But this is a great start. Oh. Messes up the throw. Yeah, dire mistake. Goes to the empty low. This time, triple overhead. Into the 6H, fast oh. cancel for the mix, and it's just so it's difficult to deal with. That should be death. It yeah. is. Oh. Yoho Spill takes it with a three to nothing spread. I don't know what word I was looking for, but there we go. On to game two of top eight winner side. We have Red Eye, I'm not in the gold list. First one we have, we've had in a while versus Munchox, a very capable Giovanna. And right now the offense is going to get started. Sets for the drone, dashing up, taking some space, trying to go for a raw behemoth there. Going to whiff, but still able to get back to mid screen. Yeah. Oh, big throw here, Munchox. Immediately keep the pressure, using the plus frames off that guard crush. Really good move off of the stance. Big far slash, gets the combo, has the meter for the finish. Not going to need it. Munchox taking the lead against Red Eye I'm Not. Now that's not easy. That's not easy. Red Eye I'm Not. One of the premier gold losses of you, uh, NA, not you, me. NA. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you can see how Munchox actually won that while holding on to that burst. So huge burst advantage now. At least it was until it came back for Red. You get it real <laughs> fast nowadays. So you should kind of oh, use it or lose it kind of thing, you know? Dash him with a 5k. I'm... Into the tick throw. I really like the use of momentum there because the 5k seems so far away before that tick throw. Alright, and this gold burst might come into clutch, but no, the YRC denying the offense. Awesome. And clips him with the 2k, I believe. Yeah, that was a really good check there by mm. Red I'm Not. Anticipated some kind of aggression, able to cover the air. Yep, that's just guaranteed right there. That's plus three. Challengeable side. Oh, builds can yeah, wow, really nice there. So right there, Red I'm Not built <laughs> the meter and then recognized, okay, I'm just gonna keep it real tight. Ended up catching the counter hit, free confirm, and that's the, the round right there. Oh, the rods are in play. Drops, though. Going to be a little oh, yeah, too early. Was, was that red specially that they could do that? Just rods? Uh, oh, a lot of the, the good gold Lewis is represented because I, I think it's like required to get the like the most out of gold Lewis. Being able to threaten a raw overhead like that is so, so good. Especially when I a lot of the time they can catch backdash when they're done like with a little delay and whatnot. That's going to be invincible. Super best defensive option in the game. Backs off. Chase the backdash. Sets up the drone. Needs to cover the sky. You don't want to let Jeevan out for free. Finds the hit. Wild Ooh. Assault in. I love the use of Wild Assault there to take that space. Oh. Wow. 2 into the close slash. Finds the counter. He does it again. 684 catches the That's back so dash. That's so nasty. That is painful. Munchox with a huge lead, but Red Eye not made like four correct decisions to take game one. Going into the second match, Red Eye not able to steal the win back. Can they keep that momentum going? Can they keep the pace going? Maybe set it themselves. Seems like they went off this drone. Tries to keep it tight, playing it safe, but going to get caught by the overhead. Munchox left the throw, and now they're the one that's running offense. I really like the pace shimmy. that Munchox is playing at right now. You can see that they were aware and like looking for, wow, that is an unfortunate trade for Munchox. But you yeah. can tell that they're looking for 684s to whip punish because Red Eye now has represented it already multiple times throughout game one. And uh, it is like a very punishable game. No mm -hmm. way. No way. Oh my God. Pull up off the wall and Munchox is going to play for the comeback into the super. Well, plus frames. Gets it with the 2k. Runs in off these plus frames. Delayed overhead into a tick throw. And this is strike throw for your life. But Red Eye Not has meter. Uses it 2p for the frame trap and plus frames to take the round. I, I can see why Munchox went for that burst there. You know, you're sitting on two bars. Health difference wasn't that much. Um, I think it was like 40 to 1. So it's like you can make that comeback happen with Giovanna. But unfortunately, wasn't able to do it. But good clip with the 2k. Stick it in your big counter at 5h. Burst not off the table. Goes straight into the super. I read I'm not going to have to go through the wall and be put in a guessing situation. I think Fro's coming. I feel Fro. Oh, they tried uh, to. That's so nice. Okay, so what they did there is that they used a 2p to catch a fuzzy throw as well as like mess up the timing when you're anticipating a throw because you're not going to press it twice, right? So by doing that 2P, 
you're changing the time that they have to press throw and you're making it way more likely that if they're not ready that throw is going to connect and right now munchox chase the back dash with the 2k or the 2s with the side switch root into the wall and the super very nice rooting there right i'm up pit for the wall yet again but i guess the scenario will block the 2s but gets clipped by the 2h will burst come back in time no i don't think it will but i think they're still living Red Amla barely living with a sliver of health, but they got two bars Baited. and they're letting it rock. Something to note, Sister. by the way, that is like the second or third oh. time that Red Eye Amla is pressed after 2S. That's not a button they're respecting right now, and Munchox has gotten reward every single time so far. Oh, yeah, that's, that's death. True. Oh, I well placed super, well placed by Munchox. Went for the guess, but the super kind of one to one. On to game three, Roundstar dash up six speed, gonna catch Munchox there, raw overhead. Already getting Munchox to stand block on wake up, so that's really, really nice to threaten. You can see later on, they might go for like raw 842, which is actually like a, a semi launcher of a BT that's also plus 16, so really good conditioning game so far. Goes for the dashing 360 for the sweet spot and maximum reward for this one bar super, and that's quite a bit of damage at the end of a big combo. Hey, Munchox. They're in a bit of a weird situation now because they're probably not going to commit to this round. So, Force oh. will be off the table. Oh, Munchox no. has done such a good job at checking aerial approaches with 5 pit. Or 6 Yeah, pit. dude. Oh my god. They're just able to Close deny the airspace so well. I and really it's hard like to do that against Goldless. Oh, wow. So, Munchox didn't want to break the wall there. They wanted to keep corner presence to enforce strike throw consistently and like force Red Eye not yeah. to guess out. But unfortunately for them, Red Eye not ended up making a very solid guess there, finding that last hit. Knockdown into the plus frame, dash into the throat. Wild Assault in for the hard knockdown. Giovanna, not nice. a character with a reversal, so Goldo is just having his way every single time she is knocked down. Yeah, but the meter is definitely something to watch out for if you're red. Big YRC gets the back throw, and Munchox can make the comeback up, and off of Munchox's, that situation gets the 2S. Munchox's defense on the Behemoths have been very, very clean. I got to imagine that they have some kind of fuzzy timing down. Because uh, right. the behemoths are very, like, either fast or slow, and the fast one's an overhead, so you can definitely uh, find a fuzzy timing to account for all of them. The difficulty is being Ooh. able to do it in the moment and identifying, like, the startup of uh, BT in general at any point in time, Aye. especially because... when your opponent is representing raw behemoths. That's when it can get Aye. so, so difficult. The, the other thing is, is like, not only is it Robbie Emus, you can literally day off of any normal, you know? It, it, you, they can stagger if they want to, full slash, but uh, that's a lot of damage here of Red I'm not. One more tap away, but the 5-H oh, no. counter hit from Munchox. Standing combo to game. the corner. Oh, still anybody's game! Goes for the gold burst! It's blockable! That, yeah, well, that was an amazing option there from Red I'm not. The BRC forward, your opponent is thinking that it's gonna be back throw or just like any kind of uh, mind game between strike or throw, but Gold Lewis can yeah. represent an instant cross up. So that's actually just objectively the best option there. And Red <laughs> I'm not will go up two to one. All right. Up and straight into the next match here. Two to one so far, Red I'm not. They are on possible set match. At set point, even, my bad. Jesus. A little bit sleepy today. But uh, Munchox does, is really good at setting the pace. So I can actually see them bringing it back here. Oh. Big combo yeah, I think here. Munchox has played this matchup phenomenally. Like in neutral, they're using the right tools at the right time. They're setting the pace. On defense, right. they're representing many different options. And obviously, their offense is incredibly, incredibly solid. And uh, right now, we're seeing a lot of the same things from Red as well. And that's why this set looks to be going the distance. <laughs> By Red is. Um overall a pretty solid player right but like you're saying munchox's defense has been so on point against behemoths mages just mostly guessing but they seem to be so on point reacting to a lot of these key yeah, i was just kills. about to say okay so munchox has been mashing on that behemoth like quite a bit of times and so far i believe the last three or four times in a row they've been caught by the frame trap behemoth into huge reward so I definitely want to see a different defensive option represented in that specific situation. And it's very similar to yeah. what Red was doing earlier with like Giovanna 2S, consistently getting hit. A lot of the time people have like one or two spots where they're like, I want to RPS here. But if your opponent identifies that, they can absolutely take advantage of it. And there it is again. Oh my God. I think Red I'm not is taking this set off this combo. Free one to Red. And Munchox will be sent to loser's side. Ooh, what did I say? This is looking good back back. This is looking good. 
up and into the first match of Loser's Top 8, we got Kenzie on the Kai, a classic to be sure, and Pineapple Hour on the me, the resident me of the backward ball, I would say. Nobody else plays me here except Pineapple. It's true. We haven't oh. had a mate a long time besides Pineapple, but I'm very grateful that we do have Pineapple because I think May is uh, a very fun character to watch. In many ways, you know, I think May is very similar to Gold Boys. And I've oh, always liked the high that. damage, I suppose, in that the, the no, way they play their the, strength uh, game. Because of the structure of their offense, where it's kind of like with Gold Lewis, it's like normal behemoth, normal behemoth. And with May, it's like normal dolphin, normal dolphin. Mm. But they have different strengths, right? Because Gold Lewis's offense is much more consistent in that it has many options that are both good on, you know, hit and block. Whereas May, is, uh, May doesn't have those strengths, but retains the damage and has much better neutral. All right. So that, I think two here. sides of the same coin for me. Yeah, something to note here, though. Can see. Uh, previous champion is running this show right now. Kensei's they've won? just been running offense. Uh, yeah, they've, oh, they've won in the past won, before. Oh, Kensei has yeah. No, yeah, you're yeah. actually right. Yeah, it was only like, it wasn't that long ago. I wouldn't I even say, her. I wouldn't say previous champion, but definitely a champion, you know? So this will be difficult for Pineapple Hour. As we can see here, Kensei has been running it, and they're on, hey, they're hey. on Kai. So neutral situations My are just God. the goal, too. <laughs> Not gonna be up to kill, but we'll go for the 5k. Space is out of the offense. Gonna whiff, no whiff, no punish. punish. Not gonna be close enough there. Pineapple Hour just looking for oh. an opportunity. Tries to backdash the food rack. Rookie mistake. Kensei will take game one. On to game two. Round start 6p. Not gonna connect there for Pineapple, but the JH certainly will. Challenged out with a 2k 2d. Kensei trying to make some space. And nice baits there and meets in the sky with a JH. All right, a little bit of patience here. I think Kensei's looking for whiff punishment, but like. May is really hard to whip punish, but that's a good catch there, but no, bursting out immediately, not holding that combo, and this is a big JS into a combo. Ooh, Pineapple Dominic finding Corner. a lot of their hits in the air. I mean, same with Kai. Both these characters find a lot of their hits in the sky now that I think about it. Gonna be a trade yeah. there. PRC, guess for your life, just lands <laughs> with the button. That's so risky when you're above the opponent like that. But Pineapple will come out on top until Kensei challenges out, plus frames from the Fudre arc. Backs off, no ants here. Finds the counter hit, but no combo. Stays in, baits the DP. And that should be Pineapple's round. Aye. Right. Very dominant from Pineapple in those last uh, few seconds of the round there. Just played neutral, used the resource as well, and confirmed. Oh, nice. Try oh, and fake. reset it. Yeah, they try reset it and throw in Kenzie, just challenge with the 2k. I wonder if they're trying to do like a Kara special move to combo and then ended up dropping Ooh. it. It does happen. It does happen. I can also see them like maybe go for a cheeky V throw, but you never know. Awesome. You never know. PRC. I love watching players PRC for neutral advantage like that and being able to like whip punish something in the air. It takes so much recognition to be able to do that in the moment. I envy yeah, it because no, I don't I mean, do that ever <laughs> unless it's like a very obvious situation. I, it's a difficult scale, but when you get it, I again? Do yeah, it. there it is again. Yeah. Pineapple's yeah. done like three hits already from this 2D counter hit. Leads to a big combo, and that should be it all time. Never mind. Oh, I think Sexy oh, no. could have killed there. Okay, oh, safe jump for the win. <laughs> um, Pineapple just Hour like ties it up one to one. Going into the third match, and unlike the previous matches where we've been seeing a lot of domination, this has been a lot of back and forth, right? Like every round has been so back and forth, I can't tell who's going to take it. So that's definitely entertaining, but the Kai V May so far. Oh, that's a big combo for Kensei as they rush into the hard knock and into <laughs> top 5 DRC. And look at the damage, quite decent off of a 50% chunk, quite decent 20, and we're going into the final interaction possibly. Oh. Chases the Dolphin, uses the RC to stay in, frame traps to the 5k, not going to be a big combo there, but did secure a bit of damage. Kensei Ooh. though will find the hit with a low, RC for the extension, and it's enough. Um, yeah, Kensei. Confirming well off that last moment there. Oh, that's a big 5k oh. confirmed, but no. It was an no. aerial 5k, so unfortunately the combo did not work the way it was intended. Fantastic oh, well. ends here. Not going to be able to set that up. Oh. Backdash, back throw for Kensei. Opportunity for advantage here. Runs up with a 2 hits. Chases with the food arc to pull me out of the sky for big damage. Uh, so far, I've noticed that uh, Kensei has been very active on defense. Um, looking for either DPs, backdashes, or all that. So I think Pineapple Hour just needs to tighten their offense and look out for those types of options. But Kensei will be... No, the burst! Yeah, they went for a 2p close slash extension, which can be burst safe if the timing is correct. But right there, uh, yeah, Pineapple Hour just picked the perfect time to burst. But regardless, Kensei will find that last hit and get a lead up to one.
Right. On to game four. Rounds are going to be a trade. Pineapple Hour throwing out some pokes right now. Playing at a huge spacing, by the way. Not often do yeah. you see the game being played this far apart right now. Both players definitely afraid of each other's normals. Probably more so Ooh. Kai afraid of Mei than Mei afraid of Kai. Yeah, I I've kind of noticed that. Oh, good what catch on the ball. That was yeah, awesome aggression there from Kensei. Perfect spot. Yeah, looking out for those counter poke spots. A nice gum for no pickup because of the aerial. Uh, can farm the way it works. Oh, good 2k2d. Can't say friending the offense in the corner, playing a decent safe space, looking for an opportunity. Whip punish. Oh, there it is. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, Nasty Kenzie's stuff. just dominating in neutral right now. Like, there's not a lot of offensive sequences. It's just hit in neutral. Bit of damage, back to neutral. That kind of thing. You know, it looks like I'm watching Tekken. <laughs> uh, surely. Uh, that'd be a good day. You know, they should have meant 2D <laughs> Tekken. Thoughts? Um, I wouldn't mind it, but then Dragonov's running two is an infinite, and Oh no! Oh my oh, god! No. Yo! <laughs> the damage? Okay, pineapple. Try and bring it back here, but they have to work against burst and a bar meter. This could be a bit rough. Well blocked. Very nice chase, and a really low commit option as well with the chase into the five P. Oh, beautiful 2k 2d tries to set up the safe jump. Well blocked there. Woo. Great tech on the air throw. Can't say want to rush him with this JS, but gotta get psych speed. Nice. Oh, it's the Danny. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fantastic DP. use of DP, runs him with the plus frames, challenges up with a 5p, and pineapple is a bar. Dude, can't say has a warrior spell. My He's god, what was that? It was, that was just so a well clean. placed JH, man. My man with. is refusing to die, but getting thrown there. Pineapple, we're bringing it back into the set here. But it's still set point for Kansi. It's not easy yet. We're not done yet. Oh, it's funny. How, whenever they're they're far away, it's like okay, we're we're gonna look for whip punishes. And they're close. It's like so scrambly. Oh, well, both players can kind of afford to play scrambly with me, all right? Look, you can tell like every time they get close to each other, both players want to jump every time. <laughs> oh my god, that's a great situation for Apple. They try. So they try to look for hair. DP. Did they're playing so aerial, like you're saying, bro? Look at range. Yeah, okay, we're, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Nice hit into the air, RC. Plus air, frames. Air. Two P staggers out. Ooh. Can't say yeah, trying to save. Just throwing out that far slash. Of a bait. Oh my Dude. god! Challenged on the fame. The defense is so clean by Kensei. They're making so many correct decisions right now. Chasing. Fujirak fast cancel for the plus frames. Wabasol oh, to get in. Two B hits, but went for the throw. Oh. Backdash. Punish. No meter for the kill, but oh. top 5D will be enough. And Kensei will take the set 3 1. <laughs> Final match of top A loser side. We have Mr. Chupi on the ABBA versus Christian Crab on the Asuka. Note that Mr. Chupi is already level 1100. This character yeah. has been out for like a week. That's just disgusting. Okay, that's a I lot of guilt. Thing to know. Another thing to note, they have an aura with ABBA. Oh my god, you're right. Another oh thing to god. note, this matchup is theoretically awful. So we'll see how it goes for Mr. Trippi. Theoretically, really good as well. Because I do think as soon as she gets installed, she is in. She I think is in. the she issue can... is that if you... If uh, at any point in time you get hit out of install and like you don't... Like, if you don't have any bar, it's impossible for you, you to ever build it back. You know what I mean? Oh, look at this, though. This is what like, I mean. Fighting from behind is simply impossible in this matchup, I think, if you don't have the meter. But uh, while yeah, you have the true. meter, it's doable. But I think if the opponent really knows the matchup and they're able to exploit your meter usage, then definitely they can make it hell for you. But right now, yeah. Christian Crab is getting the offense started, plus frames, dash up for the throw. Ooh. Sets up the cubes, into more cubes, right. dash him for the 5D. Easy pickup. Yep. Yeah, stuck in the corner here, but challenges out with the far slash. Able to get the install stay. Now they have to work against me. Or, uh -oh. oh, curb stomps their way in. Oh my Time god! The that cross up button is so nasty, by the way. Safe jump into the fuzzy. Tries to go for a top 5v. Christian Crab challenge is out. That's bold to do. That's going to be a trade. Dash in with the super. Gets back right? thrown. That, okay, so that reversal super is back to. Oh my god. I thought oh no, that was... that's not a reversal super. That is a fresher super. Oh, both really? Both of them are plus. Yeah, both of them are whoa, plus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Yeah, so right there, wow. what we saw is Mr. Choopy got hit out. 
and so they had no meter and all they could do is represent 5h so as long as christian crab recognizes these situations and just plays around 5h and whip punishes it like that's yeah. it like oscar or oh, not oscar uh abba. abba can't really do anything else <laughs> Asuka and abba <laughs> i guess one thing to note actually is abba does have oh, a really go. good dash block because oh, uh, she trick. always makes up all of the space every time so you can like block the, for the entire duration of the dash yeah oh that's that bit of a rough situation well blocked the end still me are slowly running out they want to challenge her but not placed well enough to flex her wow, gets that. the 5h literally needed that hit literally yeah. needed that hit oh my god but now there's a reset here finds the second hit oh they're dead, Into the they're dead. That is absolutely death that's just mixed for your life and mr choopy will take game one on to game two round star choopy challenge is not going to be a trait challenge out again this time going to be caught Christian Crab with the early domination dash in for the hit. No uh, wall bounce there, wasn't close enough for the pickup, but certainly has the offensive mm. advantage. Yeah, went for the teleport, well parried on the cube, but gonna get clipped by the follow up. Stuck through the wall. But Mr. Trippy is sitting on the bar, so they do have a defensive tool, but gonna get caught by the projectile. And just laugh at Christian Ch Cap oh, yeah. Crab takes oh, the my God. Yeah, yeah it's, the, it's the situation. It's the situation. It goes on forever. <laughs> and that's just an example of another dilemma in the matchup. Like, if you never get into the stance, like, I don't know how you possibly win. Ooh. Gives up the burst, just like... goes directly into it. But this is so risky. The bar is so low. At this point, you just have to get out. But Asuka's not well, letting it happen. Let forced it. Asuka literally oh, just God. forced it from full screen for you to... Uh, you know, burn out pretty much. I don't know the exact term, but burned out pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Dashing with the five, able to block this time. No punish. Oh, well blocked. Catches them, sets up the cubes, and they're already stuck in the corner. Yeah, smashed through the wall. Mr. Troopy gonna have to hold some hard knockdown mechs. Holding the cubes. Gets caught by the 2D. Clipped their way out. And Christian Crab. What a name. What the Asuka can take their first match one to one. On to game three. Round start Christian Crab gonna take the initiative again. Just gonna back off, build some resources, and Abba can't really do the same. At full screen, she's kinda just sitting there. Yeah, because she doesn't have anything to threaten, right? She doesn't like, have like a mana other... charge. Yeah. Like again, nothing nothing to threaten. Think about like if Potemkin was at full screen against Abba uh, Asuka, right? He can threaten like maybe Slay Dead or Far yep. Slash. Abba doesn't have that, right? So that's that's something that's very rough uh -oh. life. You get him in the corner, though. Double counter hit directly into the super. Oh. And Christian Crab picked the perfect time to burst. Goes into the stance. Goes for the YRC. And that was an opportunity to stop oh. the time. But there it is. 5H completely disjointed. Backs off. No whiff punish on that. But we'll go for the RC. Oh. Finds the hit. And those situations right there are do or die. Like, you have to find the hit before the timer goes out. Fortunately, it's very easy for Abba to do so. <laughs> There's some that's great mix of options. That's what I'm saying, right? The end stall state is kind of really good. It's kind of really good. Like, as soon as she's in, she's in. Oh, my God. Oh, he has to work against free teleports. And it was well, well caught, actually. Wow. Oh, the bar's full, but challenges out with the YRC. Well blocked. Great parry on the cube. Goes for immediately into the stall, and that is no plus way. Is this full screen pressure? My God! Yeah, that's that's, that's crazy. Screen it's, and somehow it's Christian Crab find a way out, anyways. Oh, oh but no I mana. think that's it. Yeah, no mana means no life for Oscar. It goes both ways. Mixed for life gets out, gets deflected with the RC hit, anyways. Oh. And Mr. Choopy will go up two to one. On to game four. Choopy is on set point here. Which would be uh, really, really nice. Oh, I know we've been talking about the matchup a lot, but I think it's worth noting that this matchup, I think, is like theoretically really good for Asuka if they play really well, but no one has that kind of counterplay this early on to the character, you know? Yeah. And again, you can see obviously. aspects of it popping up, though, but matchups aren't I, too big on play when that character's brand new like this. Of course, and of course, there's more things that can be still discovered about Asuka wow. as well. Stella undiscovered character uh -oh. in my mind. PRC to stay well, safe, locks it in the sky, runs up. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Cross up. <laughs> Hold the four-way real quick. Gets and out of the stance for free. PRC challenge out, use the plus frames, tries to chase with the throw, but it was an overextension. I think Mr. Chupi was looking for it because there was no mana, so there was no other real threat there. Yeah. 
And the, the way ABBA just curb stomps are way into a win as well. Nasty stuff there. Chippy One on round set away. point. Oh, oh, that is no. a rough round start here for Christian Crab. Wow, what a challenge out. Mr. Chupi got a little uh, little angsty there. Tried to whiff punish the opponent, but ended up getting punished themselves. Yeah, they're going to have to be careful here because the install stay is going to run out. And they're going to have no form of meter unless they get aggressive or start parrying. It looks like Chupi's oh, no. game plan. <laughs> Chupi's game plan when they have no meter at all in this matchup is let me throw out a 5H and hope it hits. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty big button. I don't blame them. But crushing crap taking that round hopefully gonna be able to deny the set point here but mr trippy still kind of got a bit of a flow going Ooh, backs up well parried gotta get up. teleported on though yeah massive cross up you're looking for an opportunity no. with low mana where it kind of feels safe to go into the stance but christian yeah. crab not making it easy consistently building that mana up builds the bar to be able to swap out these spells look for more mana generation and here it is the pressure will continue and continue. Did you see the mana? It just went from a yeah, fourth to full just that like defense. that. But Chupi finds a hit. Gold burst blocked. Has an opportunity here to go oh. into the sands. There it is. Close to building a bar as well. But can, why is Chupi doing why this? Why did he back off? Just take your turn. <laughs> Christian Krabs fuzzy mashing. <laughs> and here. Tried to pick it up. Drop. Backdash. Oh trade. God. And I think this is going to be the round. Didn't find I a way to get out of the stance. And so they're going to fight from behind. Oh my god, what a cross up. And just like that, I think Christian Crab is taking that route. Wait, <gasps> no, drop. Chupi starts off. Into the 5 inch with the game plan. It's coming into fruition. The yes. beat is full. Dash in. Double hit. RC Curbs overhead. Done. Christian Crab blocks it all. Oh. Punished. That's it. Drops now. Picks it up. And Chupi will take it. Three to one. All right. Hopping into the first match of Losers Top 6. We've got Kenzie versus Festival. Kai versus the Axel. Now, how do you think this is going to go down backpack? Because it's been a hot minute since we've seen this matchup. Uh, for sure. I mean, generally, I'd say Kai does pretty well. Obviously, he has really good engaging tools, big normals. But yeah. you can never count Axel out, especially Festival. I don't know if you recall, but Festival had a dominating Axel a couple weeks ago where they got, like, second place in bracket. Oh, I. I, I feel, have we ever had an Axel winner? Genuine question. Uh... I know Stealthy entered one time. I forget if they won or not, but they're mm. very good, so they might have won it. <laughs> That's why I bring it up. Uh, we also had Riot. It. It. Riot entered a couple times. I'm not sure if they won. Ooh, I think that, XP. that's all I have in mind. For, no, we had Zintai as well a couple times, but Zintai might have been playing Biken. Anyways, though, yeah. uh, Kense goes to the reset there. Ooh, into the tick throw, going to be a tech. That's going to whiff, Aye. but unfortunately, that will not. Try to bait burst again. And uh, this time, Burst will come out, but not baited. Oh, nice. Catch him with 2H. Just poking ahead with these long-reaching pokes. Gets him with 2K2D into the whistling winds. But it's going to be challenged out with the two-piece. And I'm noticing a lot of patience in this matchup. Absolutely. Like Especially when the health gets lower, because now either player is going to kill off any hit RC. Whoa, oh. reverse IB on the food tray arc. I don't know why you're anticipating that, but that was very clean. Plus frames, backs off, tried to anticipate some kind of DP challenge, finds the throw into the RC, easy confirm, and Festival will take the round. Yeah. So far, we're getting a lot back and forth. There's no real way to tell who the winner's going to be. But Festival, often amazing start for this round. Delina, a solid 50 off of free interactions, and Kenzie's trapped in the corner. Oh, big they jump in. Is that not JS? Ooh. No, that's JH. Oh my god, my brain is JH, gone, JH is the jumping, JS is the poke. You know, the aerial poke where he slashes. Oh, but the 2k poke. Just laugh. Festival, gonna take the first match for Nainman's. Ooh. On to game two. Round start challenge out with a 2p. Backs off. Play a little footsies. We'll find the knockdown, bit of damage as well. Yeah, again, a lot of patience being shown here. All oh, back and forth until we get the eventual, like the clip that eventually happens and can't say deletes a solid 40%. And you remember, wow, Kai is kind of crazy in neutral. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. Throwing out some two H's. Kai doing a great job at avoiding him. Finds the hit with the JS. Oh. <laughs> Picks it up in the wall. Wow. Oh. Jump what in the? raw super is disgusting. Well, I, he did have two bars, mind you. He did have two bars and the top J, uh, 5D. 
for the run win there. That was a nasty run from Kenzie. They dominated that. Oh, nice. Clubs him with the 2H. Sets up the Renson. Days plus. And just wants to poke ahead with these five P's and JS's. Keep it Kenzie back for Kenzie. Went Full for the full drop is so tough. Yeah. And that's such an awkward range for Axel because they're not likely to press when you're just sitting out of their 5P range, you know? Yeah, it's a bit risky. It's a bit risky. But you know, if it works, it works. Oh, <laughs> an air throw. Wow. Yeah. Anticipating the jump up, ready for the back air throw. And Kensei fighting out of the corner. Whoa, Ooh. the f <laughs> That just hit straight up through the entire tornado. I guess Axel has an, some kind of extended hurt box there. Uh, nice JS, though. Claps him. Gets to confirm. Tries to poke him away with these two pieces. Six Ks, but not gonna get anything as can say. Rushes in. I think that's bait. And that's two bars. Oh no, two bars. I forgot. Yeah, you were correct. Able to RPS there. Finds the aerial throw. And it's enough. Yep, that's why resources matter. Yeah. All of a sudden, a super that would lead to death leads to the opponent's death, you know? And that was a very clean air throw to finish off as well. Nice. Keeping the pressure going with the Rensons, clips them with the 2H, just keeping them at bay with these low height normals. Oh, big JS. So what far, it's just a in. lot of poking we're seeing from a uh, yeah, boy festival. Ooh. Nice. The, the amount of staggers, the amount of staggers we've been seeing back back. Yep, I, I mean, the reason you use staggers is because you want to dare your opponent to mash. And uh, staggers are particularly strong when your opponent is meter and can threaten reversals. Because you want to leave slight delays where you can block in time if they do end up going for the reversal right out of block stun. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, big 2k 2d, but of course, you work against two bars here. Festival clips him with the command grab, stops the time off of the combo. Is and it enough to kill? Bar there. It's no, not. no, no, but they got another bar though. And it's going to be really useful for neutral as it can confirm anything into an RC. Yeah, but oh. use it to stay safe there. It goes for the aerial throw, and that will be enough. Festival will go up two to zero. On to game three. Festival is on set point here. Already holding on to the neutral with some big old normals, but Kensei's been doing such a good job engaging from the sky, but not this time. Yeah, a lot of safe gameplay. Oh my god, the full screen footage. I was just about to say a lot of safe back and forth, but nah. The full screen footage arc is so disrespectful, but when it works, it works. You know, Kensei has found most of their ways in through Fujiwara arc at full screen or with chicken jumping. Uh, I think that's what they call it, right? No, chicken blocking? When they, yeah, when they jump blocking, forward yeah. and hold back. Anyways, they do that, and then if they see a whiff, they land with JH for plus frames or a punish. And that's yeah. pretty much all they've done to find a way in. Everything else has just been reactive. Yeah. Oh, well blocked. Festival is sent on a bar, so they can confirm any of these hits here. Keep them at bay with the Ransom, clips him with the anti-air version, backs up to avoid the scum death for the PRC awesome. to avoid the caller. I love that play oh from Kenzie there. So on point. There's it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there it is again. And it will be enough to kill. I thought maybe we might see a burst there, but it's such a difficult situation because you're so high up. You know you're dying if you're wrong. Yeah. It's one of those ones. It's either commit to it, be right, or commit to it and die, you know? Oh, nice. Oh! Yeah, that could have been massive there. Good burst there. Avoid that situation. Remember, Festival in a bit of a good situation, though, even though they're losing this match here. Still up 2 0, oh, so can see. Really needs to set their pace right now. Oh, no. Wow. That's good Dude, damage. Wow, look. Into the side swap. That's some pretty good axle damage. Yo, my mind got the loops though. Oh my god. Nice. And now it's just a matter the of nine. poking Kai out. Yeah. Recognize though that right. Stun Dipper RC is an option. This is an option to stay safe. Now the meter's off the table. Just gonna jump back in though. Finds the yeah. knockdown, gets deflected away. Oh. Two inch into the confirm. And Festival needs one more round to take it three to zero. Set point here. Oh, nice. Oh, great. The nine airspace. Just going for the back mega fest, essentially. That's what I'm calling that. That ain't nothing else. Oh, well blocked. Gets clipped by the wild assault though, and confirms immediately into the super. This will deal a lot of damage and allows Kenzie oh to set up that me 5k. Well blocked. Clubs him with the 2d, sticks in, gets him with the top 5d, and I think that's it. Kenzie able to bring it back, take their first match, but it's still 2-1 to festival.
Did Festival just get two touched by Wild Assault and Tap 5D? <laughs> On to game four, round start dashing with the two P. That's gonna whiff, runs over the close slash, does it again this time, finds the counter hit. Can say, back to the corner, trying to take space slowly with these dash blocks, but Festival challenging out with five Ps and two Ps, making it difficult. Jumps out and over Ooh. to find the hit. No oh, good back dash from the far slash. Giving Festival an opportunity, get some good combos going here. I don't think you'll kill. Hey, I won well at kill, let's go. Won't kill, but needs one more opportunity to finish off this round here. Oh! <laughs> top 5 D on the DP? I mean, that's an answer if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh, nice. Sets up the Westling Winds, playing a bit patient. Clips him in the far slash festival. Well aware that they are on set point right now. Realizing they don't have to play too aggressive, just cover space, but they're getting clipped by the jump in as Kensi starts running some offense. But of course, it's all mids. It's all mids. You can just block I really it, guys. like that approach from Kensei because they recognize that Festival is doing a lot of preemptive pokes. And so they just yeah. picked the timing at which they were throwing out buttons, jumped over, found a way in, and now definitely the pressure the pressure is on Festival. Aye. Oh, well blocked. Oh, he's just staggering away with these two piece. But getting it can confirm off the 2D. Getting some decent damage. Keeping them at bay with the Renzins. Can see. Looking for an opportunity again here. They do have Burst. They do have Wild Assault on the table. Will they try and threaten that as they get in here? The JS goes for it. Keeps the pressure going with the 2P. Staggers, but kept it too true. I feel getting like that last hit can be so difficult and taxing. Yeah. It's harder than every other hit combined in the rest of the set. This oh time my God. finds it, but it's not enough. Plus frames, Backsoft has a bar now. Use it all oh, oh, to try to close, but it's no punish. 2P staggers, 5P staggers, 2P staggers. FD's oh, out, finds JS. the hit with JS. And Festival will take the set 3-1. to one. Going into the final match of Loser's Top 6, we've got Munchaks on the right, on the Geo. Fighting Mr. Trippy's ABBA, and here's the thing, we gotta see uh, Mr. Trippy's ABBA earlier. Played super aggressive, utilized oh. the install so well. So I'm curious <laughs> what's gonna happen, because we flipped the tables around backpack. We went from some type of zoner yeah, to now pure all aggression all the time. I, I wonder yeah. if, like, I think all Guilty Gear players know, you don't burst after close slash. I wonder if Munchox just doesn't know what ABBA close slash looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the close slash actually, um, in oh. the install state, knocks up the opponent on normal hit. Oh, well blocked. Oh, good sex P. It allows for more of her uh, nastier uh, jump cancel combos. She, she can do in. fighters combos, essentially. No real mix oh. here, but can do basic stagger pressure and basic frame traps. But the basics were enough there. Mr. Chupu will take the first round. Yeah, I think some people need to realize that uh, mechs can also just be a stagger, you know? That's yeah. that's a key thing about these characters as well. Look at Geo. She's mostly a stagger character. Yeah. Arguably, oh. the staggers are way more important than the throws. Oh, wow. Nice. Able threat in the 5H. Sticks in. Great tech in the throw. And, wow, staggers with the 2Ps. Able to confirm them. Keeping them trapped in the corner here. Mr. Chippy eating a lot of damage off of this. But no, no big confirm to the wall. 6P like counter 6P. hit, no confirm, dash over the far slash, that is enough. Wow, doing the BM super, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not hey, like other fighting games, bro. You have, to watch, you have to watch like a 15 second animation, bro. In this game, it's like really cut to the point. I really like how Strive does supers. Nah, man, I want to watch my 50 second animations. No! Because they're always animated as well, mate. You gotta yeah, but uh, you watch them once or twice, and you're like, oh, that's cool. And then the third through a millionth time, it's like, why am I Bro, wasting my time here? I, I have rewatched DBZ so many times, I don't mind rewatching that Rage Art. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and, and you're, you're completely wrong here, okay, buddy? Nope, no, -uh. I'm more right. But that's the trippy. I'm in a rough no, situation. Oh my God. out with the far slash. Yeah, I don't know why much trying to right? go for a reset there in such a high risk. Oh. Whoa! Wake up! Oh my oh. God! It's anybody's game still. Curse Deflect it away. Really nice use of the resources there. Backs off. My luck. Has to hold all this, especially with the bar. Wire seed, the perfect time. Avoids nice. that top 5D for the kill. And it's anybody's game still. Gets put in the stance. Does the run up back dash again. One shot to the correct read. Picks up. And OTG is enough. Mr. Choopy will take game one. Really down to the wire there. Yeah. On to game two. Round start. Going to be a little bit of a whiff session here for Mr. Choopy. Munchox just going to dash in, take a free turn. 
throws out the oh, 5-H. Nice. And it seems like whenever they throw out 5-H, they just throw out the... I don't know what that move's called, but the overhead thing. Uh, the flip To confirm it. Yeah, but that can definitely be exploited. <laughs> if Munchox oh, is yeah. ready to whiff punish that when it's outspaced. Oh, nice well block. I like to call it the curb stomp. I, I thought you were talking about Giovanna's overhead, but like, yeah, yeah, no. I like calling it the curb stomp because that's what she's doing, right? Yeah, that's she's the curb stomp? Stomping. You call it the curb stomp? Well, she's too fit at tackling, man, you know? I know. Okay, her. okay. We're, okay, I'll just call it the curb stomp. Dash over oh, the glow slash, finds the hit. Oh, no, that's far slash, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. They went for the tech. Yeah, if you do the uh, the curb stomp move, PRC it dead quickly, do the guard crush, you can fly across the screen. And that's a lot of damage. Jesus Christ. Really nice play there. Got out of it first and then went for the super. And now it's mixed for your life. Jump in. In curb the stomp. overhead. <laughs> so difficult what, to deal you with. You see what I mean, man? That's a curb stomp right there. Two food. Oh, nice. You can oh, tell Mr. Shubi feels so much more in their element when it's not a zoner. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what it is? It's like when you fight someone of a similar archetype, you just want to brawl, you know? That's that's all it is. Oh, I just realized if Mr. Shubi wins, they have to fight Festival next on the Axel. Oh, Jesus Not Christ. a good bracket for ABBA. <laughs> what did we put our boy Chippy through? But it seems like Munchox will take that round off of a clean perfect. Oh, nice. Stex Fantastic chase in the back dash. Because Abba can be so stubby, like you'd think backdash is a good option, but the curb stomp really does so well at chasing backdash. Huh? Calling it a curb stomp. You see that? See that? <laughs> I'm just oh, following your lead, buddy. Hey, it's a, 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 it just suits it, doesn't it? Oh, well blocked. Great Not offense. Challenge there, but the far not many throws being threatened by Munchox. They're kind of just hoping Mr. Shoopy challenges. And there oh, it is. There yeah, go. after a full block string of no mashes, they're like, okay, I got to start throwing. Yeah. Dash him with the five oh, that's edge. A bad counter. That's enough. Munchox will tie it up one to one. Hopping into the fart match here, begin a little bit back and forth, but it does seem like Munchox will be starting us off with the overhead. Both of them trading, catches the 5k, burst off the table for Trippy and went immediately into the end stall. Will this be work? Oh, oh no, I don't think it is. Oh, I don't think this is. You went on the messed up thing backpack. When Abba comes out of her install state, she's four standing but can block low. <laughs> okay. So, so you can you could do like uh gold lewis fuzzy overhead against her when she comes out of it on me that's interesting oh but we got some decent install meter here as we go through the wall oh, oh that's two what? s that's two s that's two s well, no it wasn't yeah that yeah, was not two s, s but this anterior from so high. Full super jump height it had so high oh, oh the guard crush what was okay. that so that's no, you have to explain that do. to me if you do curb stomp and then PRC on the momentum of the curb stomp, you can do a flying guard crush with the key special. Oh my god, <laughs> it's the next incarnation of flying behemoth? No, 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 it's the next incarnation of flying mega fist. Okay, well, only one of those is plus. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Chomps up with a far oh. slash, finds it, goes into the stance. Would have blocked them both. PRC jumps over. BRC. Fam, fantastic tech, really. But Chubby back to the wall, gives up the burst, gets out of the stance. Nice. Oh, good tech on the throw. Tries to poke with a 5 H, able to block in time, not gonna get whiff punished, but Munchox running the offense, looked for some kind of shemmy, and Mr. Chubby like just friendly the JDs. Yeah, that's a JD. Also, it works exactly like Potemkin, so it means backward specials are available on it. Oh my. Oh my god. Friend, some decent offense, clap some of the 2k, deflects the curb stomp, not gonna matter. Man, and Chubby's getting just so much offense. out of this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I've no never seen stall. this, but people are respecting it. I think most people don't really know how, like where to challenge out, truthfully. They just expect yeah. Abbas to give up their turn eventually, and oh, Mr. Whoa. Chubby's not so nice about it. In the Bro, stance right now, Abba? throwing out pose. See? Wow. That was sick. That sequence was so sick. The neutral hop into Bro. the punish. Into 50%, Mr. Chupi. Bum, bum. Up two to one. On to game four. Mr. Chupi can close it out right here, but Munchox gonna get aggressive, finds the Ooh. hit, baits out the throw, and doing a really good shimmy. job. Like, uh, Munchox can only threaten throw a couple times, but you can see Chupi's going for fuzzy techs. So that's uh, something that they're conditioned to do already. Yeah, Munchox just calling it the, sh calling it out with the shemmies is just playing it so well right now and like i said they're forced into standing here so if they want to could have gone for a fuzzy overhead mix oh thanks wow. xp Burst yeah munchox is not comfortable corner. challenging 
out of ABBA pressure. You can see that they're picking jump instead as a lower commit option, but Shufi finds a way into the stance. You do have to DP. worry about potential super here as Munchox has a bar. Oh, gives up burst when you're about to pop. Oh, not a fan of this play. I'm, but what do I know? Mr. Work, Shufi though. builds another bar? No way. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a darn tootin'. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a darn tootin' minute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Munchox is. able to make the comeback happen though. Yeah. Able to deny the comeback even. For sure. Oh, big 5H. Friends some decent offense. Goes for the throw off of the bar slash stagger. Very cheeky. Goes for the guard crush. Friends and two piece. But wants to stack in. Both these players are looking for shimmies, man. It's kind of nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Jivon is a little better at it though. Yeah. At least until I was in the stats. Like, like. Giovanna will be best at Shemmy until install. Nobody challenges Abba when it comes to speed. Not even Chip. Ooh. Goes for the JD1 to clip one of their normals. I think Mr. Trippy might be losing this match here. I don't know. I can't see them making the comeback. No, it's happen. Absolutely not over. Munchox gives up the burst. Opportunity here. Oh. You have half meter left. RC. Munchox blocks it all and challenges out at the perfect time. Okay, that might be the end of the chances here. Munchox yeah. with punish into the mix. RC, strike throw for your life. High low for your life. Troop is still alive it. somehow. It's going to be so oh. difficult, though. But Munchox finds that final hit, ties it up two to two. On yeah. to game five. Munchox will find the early hit. Troop, you're not going to give us that burst. Oh. Gets caught again. Nice. Yeah, challenges out with the two P, but trapped in the corner here as Munchox breaks them through the wall of the super. This is an unfortunate situation for uh, Mr. Trippy. I can't see how they make the comeback happen as they get thrown yet again. It just looks so rough. Oh, yeah, no. Is, that's it, man. That's it. Going into the next round, Munchox has the advantage. First time on set point. Can he deny Mr. Trippy their run? Uh oh, early hit, though, for Mr. Trippy. Munchox gives up the burst immediately. Called out with a 6 p Tries to dash in, but with the 2k, able to block. Tries to chase with the far slash 5h oh. as well, but that's going to whiff. Burst off the table, gets into the stance. You need to find a hit here if you're Choopy. It's imperative to nice. winning this game, and there it is. You got to worry about the, the super, up. though, but that is the safe jump as well. Dash in, get out of the stance. YRC comes out, 2s. Tries to go for the throw, 6p oh, in 6P. time. And as anticipated, as deserved, this set is going to a double Luigi final game final round between these two players and mr choopy's getting started first yeah but what challenge back with the far slash on the deflection keeping the pressure going wow. like i guess Pete. nice hit confirm rushes in with the far slash confirm again this is some nasty has half a burst, half a burst. you have to anticipate oh the deflect oh my here. god oh my god they're not done they waited for it the prc is baited the deflect comes out but it trades with an oh, rc finds the hit and mr choopy will take it three to two taking the abba to top four winners finals red i am not versus yoho spill recently yoho spill dropped the matchup chart had gold lewis in one of the worst matchups for testament and honestly wow. you know prior to wild assault i wouldn't believe it but man i think wild assault really can mess with testament's game plan as opposed Something. as part of like denying neutral and offense for testament Something, something. Go Lewis XP! <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll leave it. That's all I'll leave it. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a lot of damage, man. Taking us back into Nooch. Yoho played a bit patiently, well aware the red I'm not dead have super PRC. But the Didn't back throw comes in clutch. to go for pressure instead, which is a little scary because Yoho still does have the bar, but uses it for offense. Dashes in, delayed overhead, jumps over, oh. punish, and red I'm not will take the first round. Put the elbow into it, you know. That two P is quite decent. Oh, it's, big six hey, P. Don't don't upplay my two P, okay? Bro? I said it was quite decent. I didn't say good or amazing. No, it's quite, quite decent, decent is the nicest thing I've ever heard a British person say about anything. Okay, saying that something is, so is quite nice decent stuff, is like the highest level of honor. Not as it, man. Not as yeah. it. Come on, man. It's, it's like, like saying there, it's a... there's, they're saying something is quite decent, and then there's knighting somebody. Okay, those are the two things that British people do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that say that they're man. praising something, okay? Oh. Okay, you, you want me to use Scottish terms for saying something's yeah, great? Yeah, then? for you sure, for sure, that? for sure. Yeah, I, yeah. That's pure dead brow, how they got a perfect there. There you go. Do you like that? You like that one? That round was pure <laughs> haggis. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say, right? No. <laughs> you say something that's pure dead brilliant. 
Oh my lord, this man, bro. This man. <laughs> Wild Assault to chase the backdash. Nice option. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Big pick up into the PRC. <laughs> damage oh here <laughs> into the drone uh, i'm not sure what the drone there was for i wonder if it actually added more damage or not uh, i could have added a bit of bar but that jump in two six eight will give red the match as that's pure dead haggis me <laughs> oh my god on to game two jumps over the 2s not gonna be punishable oh six eight yeah, four gonna whip and that is a free whip on it for yoho yeah jumps in though keep the pressure going challenges with oh. the 2k Red, I'm not uh -oh. going immediately into the raw overhead and just keeping the pressure going. My lord. It's so tough to fight Gold Lewis when they can just threaten raw BTs, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, but this stage is very pretty. I do like seeing the wall breaks. I think, oh, I don't think raw BTs are impossible to play against, but I think they require so much practice to actually get used to fighting against it, and not many Gold Lewis's actually do it. So it's really yeah, difficult to find that practice. Yeah, there's like two gold losses that I know like they are raw. I think Cherry will though, could do it raw, but like I ain't seen them. Yeah, do it. no, like Ooh. a lot of the good gold losses can absolutely do it. There's just like there's only like five or six of them, you know, that are really yeah. like threatening all the time and playing online all the time as well. But uh, what was I saying? I feel like I had a point. Gold losses. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my God, what sex speed! And because of the stay and stay able, get a decent confirm. Your whole jumps in, keep the pressure going. But gonna get white wild assaulted. Dashing into trade assault. challenge up with the 6P. 6P is the do it all button in this matchup. It's not with punishable. It's going to beat all of Gold Lewis's options. And uh, yeah, it's really difficult for Gold Lewis to ever deal with without uh, just, you know, 6 8 4 and get a good spacing. But right there, yo, spill. We'll take it. Tied up one to one. On to right. game three, round start 6P oh. called out and baited by the 6 8 4. It's funny, I was just talking about that. This is unfortunate. I know that situation all too well. So 2D 684 oh. does combo into a hard knockdown, but if you try to react, if you play reactive, then the 684 will guarantee, but it will not give you the hard knockdown. So it's one of uh, Gold Lewis's rare like knockdowns where you know you're not getting a knockdown. Or rare hits. Yeah. That's not a knockdown. Now I didn't even notice this, but the chat's pointing this out. Both these players yeah. are rocking the base colors of the characters. True. Well, to be for real, to be real here, uh, they're probably modded. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, yeah, yes, yeah. we I are can, seeing I'm, the base characters. <laughs> Red Eye Mod probably has the um, you know, the assless chaps as as they like to run. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Every gold those player loves that. Wait, wait, but you called can out. It. Wow, Yo is still one so deep there with the six eight four or with sorry with the six oh, P. And that oh, option will pretty much beat anything Gold Lewis does. But Red Eye not happened to pick Gun, which didn't move him forward whatsoever, <laughs> and happened to be perfectly spaced <laughs> against it. Big oh low finds the counter hit, takes the round, and Red Eye not integrating drone to their pressure makes it very difficult in the corner, especially when they're giving their, themselves a lot of situations to buffer behemoths from. <laughs> All right, going straight into round four. Red Eye not one hit challenge with the 2S, but I think they traded on 6P. 2S losing to 6P. How often does that happen back back? Oh. Sorry, say it again? What was 6P? 2S losing to 6P. How often does that happen? Oh, all the time. <laughs> oh. That's from my, my experience. <laughs> you know, 2S <laughs> theoretically should be a really strong move to use for Gold Lewis. It's like entirely disjointed, but the hurt box is just a little too high, and the hitbox is a little too stubby, and it doesn't combo to 6 8 4 every time, and it's a little painful, okay? It's a little painful, but it is a necessary normal to use because it does keep your upper hurt box low. Yeah. Oh, nice. Keep the pressure going. What the drone? The super. Absolutely. And that's death. But it's bait. Wow, I can't believe Red Arm not was able to anticipate that super. What made you think they were on point there? So, I think when your opponent has bar and they've spent the majority of the game blocking, they're very likely to use a metered option on wake up. Wow. So you think it was just one of those, like, fatigue moments where it's like, I've had enough of blocking, so they just went for the call out? Yeah, for sure. Nice. That happens all the That's time. No one wants to block in Guilty, man. It's taxing. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that, man. You know, nobody likes blocking period <laughs> i enjoy blocking oh. for the most part same and then you fight uh you fight a vector or a goldless and they're doing back I think blocking is up. fun until it reaches it's like 15th second then you're like okay I, I, no, this is not fun anymore <laughs> ask him <in. laughs> oh well blocked goes for the gun probably try to call it some type of arbor sign or crow nice 
You can see Red Eye not hopping around right now, trying to avoid the Arbiter Sign mix altogether, but still getting caught by a lot of the zoning options. Drone able to come out. You have to respect the potential teleport, but dash him with the 2K at the perfect time. Ooh. Finds another counter hit there for the knockdown. Gives up the Wild Assault to make space. That's all the burst <laughs> entirely gone. Oh my Drops God. the combo. That was it. Drops again the there, picking the wrong game with options. Meter. Still plus frames. That's guaranteed drone. Dash in. You have to worry about the... Oh, oh wow. I was just about to say, Whoa. you have to worry about the burst and you have to worry about the teleport. And that can be very demanding to deal with both those options. But Red I'm not just picks the perfect one and takes the set three to one. Loser semifinals. We have Festival on the Axel versus Mr. Choopy on the ABBA who has to conquer another zoner matchup. Uh, and for a bit of context, my man put in the geese smile as soon as he realized who he was fighting. Yeah. So he's immediately happy. He's immediately happy that he's fighting Chippy. Yeah, and if you recall, oh Festival has some really, really solid zoning capabilities. Making this so Bye. annoying for Chupi. He's just trying to take some space. I just want to play the game, please. The thing is, Chupi. Oh! oh my god, that was it. They the thing it? is, Ch yeah, yeah. The thing is, Chupi's already experienced these types of matchups. Oh, what the other characters? There it that is. You needed that hit. <gasps> Didn't super. Uh oh. Yeah. That's kind of low for the challenger. Whoa, the challenger what is up, 2K2D? Called they out the empty. So they did. And super death. PRC. That was super PRC. That's the main way to counter Danzai, by the way. That me is insanely good. Well blocked. Want to get the curb stomp in, but it's not going to low profile over the 2H. Just so sad. Oh, oh my sad. god, oh, what a call out to Toopy! Nice. The curb stomp is like pretty decent if you can find out where a low profile with it. Nice, the pressure. Challenges it out. Oh, we've got the install. We've got the install. All the Zone Festival needs to worry about the life. Where does it go? It's Just disappeared. Look at the <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Christ almighty. Okay, I, I don't know if I blinked or something, but it looked like ABBA was facing the corner after Axel ran under. And then ABBA's move that was intended for the opposite side happened to swing the hitbox in a way that hit Axel. Is that what happened? Oh. Yes, that is indeed what happened. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, well blocked. You know what's nice, nice. though for uh, for the developer of Guilty Gear Beyond? Like, they just have to get rid of... They just, you're just like always in the stance <laughs> mode. And that, that's it. You're done. <laughs> you're done with your duties. You made the broken you're, character. You're, you're absolutely right. Just make it so they're always an install state. Oh my god, look at the damage. They have to work against YRC or Super though. Death. Gets the PRC and oh my god, we're gonna get to see the Super through the wall. Key is life. So here's what I we saw so called. far. First round, no stall, no install, death. <laughs> Second two rounds, <laughs> found install, win. <laughs> and Mr. Choopy will take game one. <laughs> On to game two. Mr. Choopy with the advantage, back to hell. <laughs> In yeah. this neutral of the matchup. And uh, you can see Festival recognizes the respect of the zoning, so they're just gonna run up and throw, and that's a really solid maneuver for Axel. Yeah. Especially against slow oh. characters. Nice. Stacks in, goes for the curb stomp, backs up, tries to whip punish with the power slash, and oh my god, oh my Jesus Christ. Yeah. Dude, this character could just stay in. The key! Bit. Not death, but this is pretty much death. I don't know how you possibly <laughs> not die there. I love how she suplexes the key for the, the sex age, bro. It's so funny. Oh, oh you stomp. have to burst. You need to burst. Never mind. You okay, burst. you... I, oh, you okay, you know what? You yeah, they, they waited to use burst for... They wanted Chupi to be in the stance, so that way at least drain some meter. Okay, can, you might can, just die. Can someone get a gap of ABBA running forward to just say, POV, you die? <laughs> like, that would be peak. Chases oh out of the sky <laughs> and... That was a fast game. Mr. Choopy up 2-0, takes the last round with a perfect. Up and into the third match here. This could be the final match. This could be the final one. If Festival gets caught again against ABBA's aggressive stance, but what a 5 page They're gonna have to burst it immediately. Five piece him at the sky on the curb stomp, wants to deny that. Wants to try to dash in. Usually like, all of their crushing skills to try and get in and avoid all these pokes. Oh, Down to the stance, but walking time jumps in. That's guaranteed plus from no. Tried to anti-air, so actually it was going to be a hit there. Mr. Choopy gets out of the stance. Curb stomp. 
Stay safe. Jumps out. Cop of the 5P, but able to block in time as two bars Jumps built. Up. Didn't RC there. Very surprised to not see the RC uses one for the pressure. Does it again for the fuzzy overhead. And you know what? Yes. There's some kind yes. of mix. There is some kind of mix when it comes to uh, non-install, but it's very meter intensive. Oh, this is smart. Uh -oh. Uh oh, make sure life high low. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That, that Tom, was a very right. unfortunate time for a disconnect. Oh, no, there's oh, no wait. disconnect. Oh, okay. No disconnect. Oh, okay. okay, the okay. spectator. <laughs> Woo! For a second, <laughs> I had flashbacks like... to every Tekken 8 ranked game I've ever played. Oh my god. Dude, I was, <laughs> I, the only thing I was thinking about was like, fam, there's another round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, catches the curb stomp. Oh. Could you imagine if she did the curb stomp back? Oh my Back god, the evasion there was oh. so sick. Ducked out the 5P, had the punish with the 5H. I don't know if that was on purpose, but Mr. Chuby making it look easy right now to get in. Jumps in, in the stance. At this point, I think you gotta just risk a super or something. Backs off, oh. 5H, in, cop of the 2K, but no follow-up, tries to jump in and whiffs, oh ready for Lord. the back throw, is Festival. Nice, jumps in, oh, what a back throw though. Festival immediately in a great situation they have zero install state and they can get the kill off this combo time stop let's see some oh i want to see some cool factor not gonna lie i want to see a ton into rc or something dash Ooh, in ducks under low profile yeah that's nice to know huh that actually matters yeah. a lot i think that yeah, was dark under far slash as well so far slash yeah, is not even five yeah which uh core nice. circle back kick uh does a little dash that goes under it's really yeah, the good command it's dash. really good and man, the use oh. of the, like, you can tell they actually have aspects of the matchup down already. Oh. Doing a great job and mixing up different movements and consistently able to find a win. This is actually disgusting. Jeez. This is actually disgusting. My God, Yo, Mr. Chupi in the stance right now, cop of the JH. This Ava champion <laughs> jumps in, <laughs> steals the corner, able to block in time, dashes oh. under the, the close slash A tier, but drops. Oh, you have to respect the, the potential here. super here. Gets out. Oh no, outside of it because of the FD, and I think Festival gonna take this round here. Axel Absolutely. Bomber into the OTG 2 1. Could have easily been Mr. Trippy's game if they got the right mix, but for oh sure. well, going into another match. Festival definitely rewarded for like having really good defense there, just blocked correctly. On to game four, Mr. Chupi still can win it this game right here, right now, but Festival absolutely not out yet. Very strong Axel player. Chupi trying to jump under, cop at the 5P. You gotta remember, it's oh a bit of an God. RPS though, because that one jumps over the 2P and then the command dash goes under the 5P. So those normals, like every time, is inherently an RPS for Axel. And I don't know if you want to play that because the reward is so bad when you're oh wrong. Oh my God, the Lomex. Jesus. Like I've learned so much about this matchup already. It's so sick. It's mental, right? Like you gotta see all of the options being utilized for the perfect situation, but what an Axel bomber. What it was the so camera? Raw. The camera yep. went crazy. Wait, I feel like the camera's still panned out. Like, it's bugged. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're, you're just acting goofy. You're Wait, acting no, goofy. Wait, no, is there something wrong oh, with my mind? I feel like the camera is so zoomed out still. And now it's back zoomed no, in. No, no. no, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. No, no, no the no, camera's no, no. definitely are, zoomed are... out a pinch. No, I know for a fact. You're, you're a little crazy, bro. You're Wait, no, I'm crazy. crazy. I'm crazy. I actually think I'm crazy. I think I'm you're crazy, crazy now. bro. Yeah. <laughs> Finds a hit. Breaks the wall. Boom. Oh. That's a lot of damage, and then this here. is install mix. Jump in, gets over the overhead, gold burst out, and Festival not out because of it. Ooh, Pressure super. Run up curb stomp, run up curb stomp. You gotta watch out here. <laughs> oh, got the hit, but out. That looked punishable. Now they're just, it's not, it's not. It's like Nagel coming out of his thing, but oh, gonna get the finish. Mr. Trippy gets the heck in farm, takes it, three and one, and Abba, it's gonna be in losers finals. Grand Finals, Red Eye Am Not versus Mr. Choopy. If you're wondering where Yoho went, unfortunately their controller broke mid-tournament. So they had to DQ. Very unfortunate. We could have seen the run back between Mr. Choopy and Yoho. But we do have Grand Finals right in front of us between two great players. And honestly, this is going to be the battle of the bruisers. They're going to stay in each other's face the entire time. And ultimately, whoever cracks the least is going to take <laughs> this game. But uh, Mr. Choopy, of course, is going to have to win two sets as opposed to Red, who oh. only needs one. Stomp them during the guard crush, who's at two bars a meter. Comes out the end stall, and do you notice how quick Trippy's playing in this round compared to the previous rounds? It feels a lot faster. For sure. Oh my god. I mean, Jesus we, uh, character wise, like we've had a lot slower characters today, but these both these characters want to play at a very, very quick pace. 
Oh my god, she's so aggressive, man. She got the carb stomp, she got the DP, she kinda crazy. Nice. Backs off, a huge delay into the 5 age, ready for the confirm as well, and this right here is gonna be big damage. Ends with this to go Ooh. into the stance, and break the wall as well for a good chunk of damage, a bit over 33%. Dash yeah. in, Watch and tier, what H. button is that? That's 2H. The button seems so good. Yeah, it's a, it's a really quick anti-air. See, all right, Panda, head, Panda, you tell me Gold Lewis JD is good. How can Gold Lewis JD be good when they're anti-airs like that in the game? Riddle um, me this, Batman. Is uh, JD good? <laughs> JD, JD is good, but I get someone like Abba 2H uh, die. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Choopy takes game one quickly. You got it. On to game two. Round start finds the early knockdown. Starting some pressure, tried Ooh. to extend with the Wild Osama, called out by the 2P. Really good challenge there from Red Eye Not. Goes into the stance, yeah, and the avoids the drone narrowly, steals the corner. No defensive options here for Red Eye Not, who's just going to have to hold this mix. Many Jesus overheads Christ. into another one. Big time to jump. Fantastic timing for that. PRC forward into the low. Caught. Nice, the Thunderbird. Friends, the high low, well blocked. Dead. But gets caught by the low behemoth side swap. That's the red eye not taking the run. Yes. So the 248 are obviously meant to be a special cancel from Close Slash, but it also just straight up OS and called out back dash mash. Mm hmm. Okay, so so there's there's many uh, OSs there, I suppose. Nice. Gets a hard knockdown, and you want to go for the record because what you gain more meter out of it. I just oh, guess for your stomp. life five times in a row and you can see gold loses hp despite like being like a really hefty character has a ton of hp like they're already like almost dead yep no way punish goes for another 684 perfectly spaced by chubi rc to extend and that's the round oh. jesus man that, that's the thing right that's the thing gold Lewis, as we know he's pretty well punishable when he does 684 out in neutral and lefts it right and uh Abba does have 5 H like Potemkin, yeah, so can similar. poke into. Except Abba has a confirm off a of 5 H. Oh, that's big. Oh, death. that's big again. <laughs> Not death, actually. Wait, no, it's death. No, no, death. Uh, yeah, that's GG. Yeah, that, that's I looked GG. down at the meter. I'm like, yeah, I could try. <laughs> <laughs> Red Eye, I'm not Ooh. ties it up one to one. I man, I really hope the games continue to be like this, kind of like back and forth. On to game three, round start. Go. That's crazy. Okay. That, <laughs> so that's the that was a, play right a chicken there. block into React Goldburst to the first animation. And Bro, yeah, and Goldburst is, definitely benefits <laughs> from Goldburst as well, that positive bonus. Oh. Okay, you may be right about that 2H, so that move's kind of nice. No, oh, yeah, no. yeah, I know. Just say I'm right. Goldburst JD sucks. No, Thank no, you. no. No, no, we're on the same page right now, Panda. Stop it finding it. Suck. It's Stop a finding game. it. Oh my lord, that was four overheads. Okay, that is the second time in a row that Red Eye is challenged with 2P after that option. So Mr. Chupi needs to just take advantage of the plus frames and frame trap. Wuzzy wuzzies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this match is so explosive backpack. It's been so back and forth. It's so Not explosive. Not explosive enough. Hey, what, what more explosions do you need? That, okay, I need a full screen 5H punish to drone into Jesus a wild Christ. assault, confirm, into the stance for your life, gonna be a trade, dash in, overhead, into oh. the super. Oh, it's gonna put you back right into the like stance, it. and it's full bar here. You're gonna have to hold yeah, this, but it's the best PRC. defensive option in the game, super PRC from Gold with so many invincibility frames. Caught into the corner, goes for a, wow, burst bait option into a safe jump, really nice Ooh. play there from Red. OTG, cross the up, you can make this burst safe with double RC, but did it! Mr. Choopy could have used that meter, is that guaranteed super? No, jailed, baited, oh. trade! Ah. Done! Ah. 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 Da okay, so if you don't know, Gold Lewis 684 does That's have a one. spot with no hitbox, and Apple was inside of it, so it was a whiff. Fortunately, Red had meter to stay safe and then went for the throw punish. On to game four, round start, Wild Assault runs in, messes up the Raw Behemoth, and that's not when you want to do this, man. The whole tournament on the line, messing up those Raws can definitely hurt. Plus three here, backdash into the challenge. Mr. Chupi finds a knockdown Ooh. and gets into the stance, chases. That's such a good media option because obviously it's an overhead, immediate overhead, yeah. but it also chases backdash. Yeah, and it's, it's very really active, good, so maybe, it, maybe again, Super PRC, it actually is pretty good too. Only main is two as well. Decent Only minus two. I know, I think it's less minus when you're in the stance. 
Not when you're in the stance, it's minus two. Out of the stance, it's no longer an overhead, but it's minus one. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Oh, nice. Wild Assault. That's half a burst commit. He could do it again. This oh. time, he's going to go for the gun. Into the oh. gun again. Oh. And really nice call out there. Gun to the gun really only works with that full, full screen. And Mr. Choopy just happened to do a jump that, that was point, not tall enough. Plus frames. Plus frames. Plus frames. JD into plus frames. Minus five. Five D or five H chases nice. the back dash here for Choopy. Into the confirm, goes into the stance, tried to chase, but Red Eye now with the up back on wake up. Cross up. I bead and blocked. Plus 16. Jailed lows called out. Drone deflected. But the plus frames continue. Oh. Crosses out out of the corner, but you need a way out of the stance. Fast cancels. Backs off. Challenge is out with the 2K. No ants here. YRC to start the offense. Catches the back dash. Stays in. IBFD the into the wild as well. Punish. Drone for the offense here. Tap oh. 5D is enough. And Red I Am Not is your back bro 92 champion. Taking it 3-1 over ABBA.